The state is agog and ready to vote for the APC. Uh, of course, a lot of people are moving over from the PDP to the APC because they, they have seen that this is a better option. Uh, we have so much more to offer to Biasans than uh, the PDP can. Um, the PDP has been here for over 10 years and they really can't have so much to show for it. You can see the capital, the state capital, the state of the state capital. It's almost uh, uh, where we started, I mean, unfortunately. And then if we, if we compare that to how much they have received as government, then it's, uh, it's a far, far cry from where we should be. And so as, as uh, APC, we believe that we can do a lot more better. And with uh, Asiwaju at the center showing us the way, we believe that uh, uh, Baesa State will be better off in the hands of the APC and that's what we are telling our people and the message is well received. As far as I'm, I, I know, um, we have settled the national chairman uh, on the behest of Mr. President called us uh, to a settlement meeting and uh, we agreed that uh, we're going to work together. After we met with the national chairman, the other uh, Minister of State, of State uh, Petroleum Oil, uh, uh, invited us to his house and we met again in his house and we settled uh, and agreed to work together. So as far as I'm concerned, we are working together now. I have been uh, in touch with him on the phone. Um, I've also been in touch with David Lyon on the phone. Uh, and uh, we are working together as one uh, unified party in the state. Of course, for us to all work together, because uh, clearly, uh, right now we have a candidate, um, which is myself, and a deputy governorship candidate, which is uh, uh, Great Joshua McIver. So all of us must join hands to ensure the victory of the APC. That's all it's about now. It's not about personal interest. Of course, as a political party, there will always be camps in the political party. I mean, because uh, even at the national level, there are camps. Um, APC itself is an amalgam of. Uh, many tendencies. I mean, you have the CPC, uh, the ACN, uh, the uh, um, All Progress, the ABGA and APA, ANPP coming together to form a party. And of course, these, these, these divisions are there. I mean, ordinarily people still meet uh, under the ages of uh, CPC or ANPP, but everybody is invariably loyal to the party. That is the whole idea. So there will be camps in every, every party, that is the whole idea of politics, but it is expected that all camps will be loyal to the party. And that's what we're doing now. I mean, there are camps, of course, I have my followers. Uh, Mr. Lukobri also has his followers. David Lyon has his followers. I mean, that is what makes the party even greater. So we all come together with our followers. And all our followers, at the end, are loyal to the party. And that's all it's about. Well, first and foremost, there were a lot of things that I started which I had not completed, uh, which I believe uh, will be completed during this time. I mean, uh, road projects, uh, school projects, uh, power projects. There are a lot of projects that I, I, I started which have not been completed. Uh, water projects. Uh, so this will give me an opportunity to, to complete those things that I started. And then, of course, I have also gained, meanwhile, uh, new experience uh, as uh, Minister of State Petroleum. I've gained a lot of experience, so I'm going to focus on uh, the development of gas. For example, um, we we have a we have a lot of uh, gas endowment in Bayelsa State, and we believe that that is actually at the foundation of the economy. So, if we are able to really uh, join hands with the federal government and develop our gas resources here, it will really take the state. Uh, uh, to a different level. Apart from that, we also uh, believe that we have a comparative advantage uh, in the area of uh, rice production because we have a lot of swamps. I mean, you can, you can say Bayesa doesn't have many things, but we, we, can, we are not lacking in swamps. And swamps is where the rice does best, best. So we believe that we can be a leader in rice production as well. So this is all experience that I've gained and uh, I'm going to bring it to bear on the governance and development of Bayesa State. Well, there's a lot that can happen. I mean, uh, definitely, it's just that I, I, I don't want to claim to be able to do everything within the four years that I have. That's why I want to focus on the things that I can do. 
uh, which will be foundational to the development of some of these other things that other people will do. Of course, there is an enormous tourism potential. If you go into uh, our mangroves, you have an ecotourism potential that is unbeatable. Uh, of course, we have the longest coastline in, in Nigeria. We have 185 kilometers of coastline, and that is all beach. Uh, you know, so you see be there are a lot of beaches, but there are a lot of islands, uh, and so many things we can do in Bayelsa State in the area of, uh, of tourism. But can I achieve everything in four years? I don't think so. That's why I don't want to say I want to do everything. All the potential of Bayelsa State will be achieved within four years. It's not possible. So we have to focus. Focus on the things we can achieve in four years. And then, of course, those who come after us will do the rest. Bayelsa is a state with a lot of potential. And I believe that this is the time for Bayelsa to achieve greatness. So we must join hands, give peace a chance, because the problem that we've been having is a lack of peace. If we can bring, if we can come together and give peace a chance, I can assure you that Bayelsa will be one of the richest places in Nigeria. So I call on all Bayelsans to join hands, let's be un unified, let's give peace a chance, and let's work together for the greatness of our great Bayelsa state. Why we have a message like that? 